Stacey Josh, at five we talked about Mary O'Connor's history. Now I want to talk about this most recent incident. As you know, there was an internal investigation. Just two days ago, O'Connor was interviewed. Tonight, for the very first time, you can hear how she explained her actions to the department and a failed attempt to keep her job. I'm the police chief in Tampa. I'm hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. Oh, okay. Body yeah, cam sorry, video yeah. appears to That's show uh, Tampa's top uh, cop, Mary O'Connor, yeah. flash her badge okay. to get out of a ticket. If you ever need anything, call me. Tampa okay. PD's Professional okay. Standard right. Bureau conducted an investigation into the golf cart stop. This weekend, so. then Chief O'Connor was questioned by Captain Patrick Mesmer. Aid on Your Side obtained audio of the nearly 20 minute interview. So, uh, why did you provide the deputy with your business card? Um, Captain, I have passed out literally hundreds of business cards since I was uh, appointed as the chief of police. Um, you know, I, I, I pass out the business card because there's, there's never, um, I, I, there's, there, there could always be a reason why he would need something in the city, you know, parking, um, you know, whatever advice on where to, you know, where, where to, where to go for, I mean, there's just so many reasons why I would give him my business card. O'Connor was asked why she identified herself as chief of TPD. A, a police officer knowing that they have another police officer that they stopped is important so that their safety is not necessarily compromised. Um, you know, I've, I've always identified myself as law enforcement for, you know, basically any traffic stop I've been involved in. Uh, what's your understanding of the law regarding the operation of golf carts on public roadways? Um, until this happened, I did not have much of an understanding of it, um, but I believe now that the golf cart needs to be registered if it's going out on the public roadway. Finally, what would you do differently if she had the chance? I would not have asked the deputy to let us go. Um, I think that that was a improper statement. And during the interview, O'Connor actually said that it was a plain mistake to try and get out of a ticket, but she stood by the rest of her actions. Now, when this nomination was announced back in February, some people in the community were concerned about a blemish in her past and arrest in 1995. Other people were not happy with the mayor's selection process, how this was conducted. They said that there wasn't enough transparency, but I think things are going to be different the next time around. Yes. And a lot of stuff has happened since this came to light. So how did this come to light in the first place? So we actually here at 8 on your side received a tip that this had happened and our reporter started asking questions soon after video of the stop was released now I do want to mention the stop happened on November 12th but O'Connor did not tell the mayor about it until 18 days later I had a chance to sit down with the mayor as well very interesting mm. but things are going to be different next time around all right okay Thank thanks you. Masa and if you have something you'd like Masa to invest